What's up everyone, it's Iceman Oz, aka J, and in today's video, I want to go over all the information I have about Battlefield 4 currently, and this will probably be the last video regarding news until something big happens. I just kind of wanted to go over it because a lot of people are asking for updates on really what's been going on regarding the community jungle map, the night maps, and things like this, because we have seen delays here and there in the past, and people are thinking, are we even going to get such things? So I want to go over all of that in this video. The gameplay you're going to be watching is from the new jungle map. It's recently actually had a new texture update, which has made it look so much better than before. It looks a lot more gritty. It looks a lot more uh, darker. Before it really lacked shading. It lacked a lot of things that you expect generally from the map, and now they've put in a lot of stuff. I don't expect to see too much deviation from the current iteration of this map to the release, so that's something that is really cool, the fact that they've got this thing together now and it's looking like it could be an actual map in the game. Going from that, it could be closer to release than most people think. And now that you get to enjoy the luscious green fields on on this new map. By the way, green's my favorite color, so jungle maps are totally my thing. But anyway, with that being said, the first thing I'd like to go over for today is the new night maps. Now, if you've ever played the CTE or really know about Battlefield in general, you will know about Battlefield 4 and the night maps that are coming up. And that involves maps Zavod 311, Golmud Railway, and Shanghai. So these maps are going to be put into the actual game. I'm almost certain they're going to be free of charge because they aren't a part of the premium package, just like the community map. It's been in development for so long, people are wondering if it's actually gonna be released. Obviously it is, because they have made changes to it over time. And in my opinion, we're going to see this release way before the community map. And the reason I say that is because it's had so much more development time. Another thing that will be coming into Battlefield 4 is the upgrades to the servers and the upgrades to the netcode. This includes the 60Hz and 120Hz servers, which they have been experimenting with on the CTE Battlelog. For those who haven't played on these servers, it's pretty much a upgraded version of the game, I'd like to say. It's a lot more responsive in terms of the hit registration. In general, it's a lot more consistent, and more consistency equals happy players, Happy players equals more players, more players equals more YouTube views for Iceman Oz, okay? This is just, <laughs> this is the way it is, alright? So, it's great news for everybody, so I'm absolutely happy that they're really making a change and really deciding to put in effort into this game. They always did from release. It was really one of those things where we're gonna work on this game, we know we didn't release it right, but finally, we're now gonna kick it into gear. With that being said, guys, that is all the information I have for today. Let me know in the comments section below what you're thinking about Battlefield 4 so far. A lot of different updates, a lot of stuff happening, and we have DICE to thank for it. But there it is, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and peace.